हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर कवरिंग बेसिक्स ऑफ एम एस डॉस सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स बेसिकली वट इज एम एस डॉस सो एम एस स्टैंड फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड डॉस स्टैंड फॉर डिस्क ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स बेसिकली वट इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिस्क ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एम एस डॉस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एम एस डॉस एंड द विंडो so dear students as you can see mostly most of the students have mobile phone okay and in the in this mobile phone we have an operating system so dear students basically ms dos is just like a operating system which is used in older days okay and whatever we are using now our days in our mobile phone that is android so same if we are taking the example of our pcs or our laptop then we can see we are using window as operating system so dear student here we are covering regarding dos so basically what is dos a dos is a single user operating system what is single user operating system which means that at a time only one user can use the system okay what if we compare the dos with window so we can see the window is a multi user operating system which means that at a time multiple user can use the operating system then we can see in case of dos we can perform a single task at a time means if you give a uh, active multiple activities to your computer system what your operating system is dos that is disk operating system so you can find out that at a time a single task is performed by dos but if you compare it with window you can see it can perform multiple task means at a time it can perform multiple task in the case of window then in case of dos there is no time sharing option okay but in case of window there is time sharing option then you can see in case of dos whatever we are performing we are performing with the help of command and that command will take place with the help of cui that is character user interface but in case of window whatever you are performing that can be done with the help of gui gui stand for graphical user interface now dear students there is a question in your mind sir what is cui and what is gui so dear student always remember whenever we are taking the help of keyboard to perform our activity that come under cui okay where we are giving only commands but whenever we are taking the help of standard input devices just like mouse then keyboard so that come under graphical user interface so dear students it is little bit introduction regarding ms dos and what is the basic difference between ms dos and window now we are covering the history of ms dos so dear students as you can see basically the ms dos 1.0 that is the first version which was released in august 1981 okay so sometime you have asked when the first version of ms dos was released so you can say in august 1981 as the time proceed okay few updations are performed and in 1994 this ms dos is replaced by window 95 okay so in 1981 ms dos 1.0 was released and in 1994 this ms dos was replaced by another window that is window 95 okay then dear students you can see as the time proceed okay there are multiple versions of window that can be available in the market okay at this time you can see we are using window 
okay few are using window 8 few are using window 7 so these are different versions of operating systems that are available in the market okay so these come under history part now dear students what is the basic structure of ms dos okay so most of the dos command use same structure okay and the structure is first of all you are writing command then source address then destination and dear students sometime we are using switching option now there is a question in your mind sir why we are using switching option so dear students this switching option will give option to our command okay if we want to give option to our command then we are taking the help of switch option for example suppose i am writing copy here copy is a command then i am writing capital a so dear student what is this capital a colon slash file dot txt this is the source address then i am writing c colon slash what is this this is the destination address and here i am using slash v that is the switch that we are taking in the help of copy command okay that we are taking for copy command so dear students what is happening with this example you can see in this example we are copying our file dot txt from source to destination and here we are taking slash v that is it is used for verifying the file which means that whenever our file is copied correctly or not so dear students this is the basic structure of ms dos where first of all you have to write your command then you have to write your source address then you have to write your destination address and after that you are giving your switching option if you want so this is the basic structure then dear students one thing that you have to remember what is ms dos prompt so basically the prompt in ms dos display your current directory so dear students you can see suppose if you have a laptop or pc you can see multiple directory in your pc just like c d e okay so ms dos prompt always show the current directory okay always remember what ms dos prompt display your current directory so here you can see i am writing c colon slash dos slash command okay which means that you are in the directory that is c and here if you are using any command okay that command will be applied to the current directory okay what is the current directory that is c okay so ms dos will display you current directory and whatever command you are writing that is applied to your current directory that is c so whatever we are studied what are the topics that we are study today so dear students the topics are what is dos what is window what is the difference between dos and window then what is the basic structure of ms dot and what is the ms dos prompt then we are moving here dos naming so dear student basically what is dos naming okay this is just like option where you want to name okay so whatever the file you are using in dos it must be according to the proper syntax and that is just like that here the name of file cannot be longer than 8 character and the extension cannot be longer than 3 character okay so dear students there is a question in your mind sir basically what is an extension so for explaining this concept i am taking the example of document file dear students whenever you are making your document file you are writing just like a dot doc x okay so a is the name of your file and dot docx is the extension of file which means that you are using document file if you are using dot pdf which means that that this is a pdf file or whatever come after the dot that is your extension okay so dos naming always always give some instruction 
and the instructions are the files cannot be longer than eight character and the extension cannot be longer than three character okay this is used for naming the file in dos and also you cannot use character just like star plus equal to okay so these are various characters that you cannot use for dos name so dear students these are few topics that we are covering today okay thank you for joining today session